What's up, y'all? I'm back out here at the range this morning on a cool, cloudy day. I'm gonna have to throw a little jacket on. I can't wear my nice hat because it's so dark. It messes the camera all up, so we in a mess out here, but the show must go on. So I got a lot of testing planned for today, and the first on the agenda should be a very interesting nine millimeter test. So we got the jelly contraption set up, ready to go to work. I got my chrono, got two freshly melted blocks of gel here, so plenty of room to see what's going on. Now, since it is a little chilly out here, we're gonna bundle the jelly up with the heavy clothing barrier. We got one layer of denim, one layer of fleece, and two layers of cotton t-shirt material. So that's gonna be my heavy clothing barrier. And as y'all can see, what we're testing out here is the normal monolithic hollow point in nine millimeter, a 100 grain, uh, 108 grain projectile, supposed to be moving 13, 12 from the muzzle. But I've tested these MHPs in, I know, 45, 380, and I'm pretty sure I've done a bear gel test in nine millimeter also. One thing I can definitely remember is I haven't been all that impressed with them. They're very inconsistent from my testing. Uh, they like to tumble around. And when they do tumble around, you don't get this really nice expansion that is basically the selling point of these things. They are, of course, a solid copper round there, but you can see the case and the actual projectiles plated. Now, if these things don't perform well, one excuse that can be thrown right out the window is that uh, it wasn't a long enough barrel. All they meant for this barrel, they meant for this, they meant for that. As you can see, one size fits all, they said. Recommended for carbines, full size, compact, sub, and and ultra compact so we got a couple of different lengths we're going to use here today we got the gx4 with the three inch barrel and then we got the p80 with the four and a quarter inch barrel but this ought to be pretty interesting if i was going to make a guess right now i would say these things are going to have a problem with this cloth like i said they're inconsistent enough from what i've seen in bear gel i believe this cloth is going to give them a hard time but i've definitely been off on my guessing before on this stuff so let me get everything set up and let's check them out all right y'all let's get some speeds on these things i'm gonna do a three round average on each one we're gonna start with the three inch gx4 first let's see how close to 13 12 these get 10 69 10 and 1070. I'd say we we're a ways off from 1312. Let's check that average. All right, so the three round average from the three inch GX4 is 1065 feet per second. Let's reset that and let's see what the P80 can do. All right, let's see what this extra inch and a quarter barrel can do. Um, honestly, for a 108 grain projectile, a thousand feet per second, even out of a three inch barrel, that's pretty doggone weak if you ask me, but let's see what this one does. What's that, 1143, 1161, and 1155, so definitely better, but still nothing fantastic. Let's check that average. All right, so our three round average that time was 1153, and if you remember out that GX4, it was 1065, so you're talking about what? 88 feet per second faster from this P80. So 88 feet per second, I mean, that's creeping up on 10% of the total difference, so take that for what it's worth. Um, I still don't feel very good about the performance in the gel from either one of these, but hopefully I'm wrong. Let me get this reset, and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's monolithic jelly time. I'm gonna put Put one round out of each barrel length down there into the gel. We're gonna start with this three inch GX4 first. Let's see what these things can do, y'all. 1070. All right, that should have been a good clean hit. Let me go down there and check it out. 1070. All right, y'all, looking pretty good down there, all except for the fact that I just remember these things like to curve and swerve like crazy. So that one round took about half my jelly block down there. But let's see if I can work this one in here out of this four and a quarter inch. I'm gonna try to go a little above and to the right of this, but it might come out the side. I went to the right, not above it, but should be good. Let me go down there and check it out.
All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got down here. So I was definitely wrong about them clogging. This cloth didn't seem to give them any kind of trouble whatsoever. Now, what they did do was start to tumble around and start swerving again. Now, in this case, it looks like it didn't hurt them too bad. The one out of the GX4 especially, that's the one right here. As you can see, it comes in, looks like it starts expanding immediately. Nice wound channel, nice disruption, and it's pointing downward. Like I say, it was definitely tumbling, and you can see how it curved sideways like that. Uh, looks like some really good expansion on that one though now the p80 here on the top also very nice wound channel very nice disruption there looks like it opened up pretty good already by this point as you can see though out here this one's completely backwards and this thing is not expanded nearly as much as the one out of this gx4 and i would say i would be willing to bet it's because of the excessive tumbling out of this thing and that's just like i've seen in the past like i say that's my problem with these things for well number one that you you can see the penetration is not going to be that great but number two is just so inconsistent with this tumbling whether it's going to open or not you just never know now as far as penetration the one out of the gx4 is at 10 and a half inches the one out of the p80 is at exactly 12 inches so you know penetration wise for me i definitely like to see a little more there all right just to bring you in a little closer here the one on the bottom again that's the gx4 so as you can see there nice disruption and then when you get to the projectile you can see there it's starting to turn around and it's got some pretty good expansion on that one though and then back here on the other side the one there on the bottom that's out of the p80 as you can see on that one it is expanded but not nearly what it should be and not nearly as much as that gx4 is all right y'all let's take a look at these projectiles so right here this is the one out of the gx4 this one right here is out of p80 so you can see a big difference in these and and it's all to do with the way these things tumble like they do it's got really nothing to do with velocity because you know this one was slower and still opened up more it's everything to do with how these things tumble and personally uh, that's one of the reasons i'm not a fan of these things because it's just so inconsistent it's almost you know it doesn't matter what barrel length because it's almost just luck of the draw it, it just depends on how these things tumble because you can look back at some of my other tests like i say and they barely open on some of them and just totally tumble around backwards but anyway on these as far as expansion gx4 absolutely fantastic expansion on these things you can see it carried a little bit of material in there with it but didn't seem to bother it at all as far as that material goes very very nice expansion on this thing and then as far as the p80 don't get me wrong here this has got plenty of expansion for my taste but the problem is you gave up expansion but you didn't gain any penetration really so it's kind of like you you really lost on both ends on this one i'm pretty positive we didn't lose any material but let's check them out anyway they both started at 108 from the gx4 here you've got 108.1 and then here from your p80 you got 108 on the dot exactly 108 so very very consistent weights on these things now as far as the expansion on it we'll check this one out of the uh p80 first you got 736 and 810 now the one here out of the gx4 you got 893 and 897 so some massive massive expansion out of that one and there you have it y'all the nine millimeter norma mhp through the heavy clothing um as far as performance wise for what these pretty much always do they perform perfect just like they were supposed to perform the problem is for me this performance just isn't up to par compared to other rounds this, these just aren't my thing but y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think about them all right y'all that's a wrap for the nine millimeter norma monolithic hollow point i will say that this stuff did a little better than i expected just based on what i've seen in the past uh but it's still again i for me the performance just ain't there for these rounds uh the penetration's not there you got plenty of expansion if you get the expansion because like i said you can see right here off of this test by itself uh it just varies drastically depending on how those things tumble how they swerve which way they go so for me these things just ain't it i just as soon have a big old conventional chunk of lead i know some of y'all out there do use these because you made some comments about them in the past but let me know what your thoughts are on them and let me know what you think about the performance out of them if you did enjoy the video take a second hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that bell notification icon so hopefully you can get notified when i upload new stuff take a second if you're doing some shopping and check out my affiliate links in the video description if you shop through amazon anyway hit that link up down there first you'll go straight through amazon like normal from there and anything you buy after that 
that, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. Take a look at those Axle affiliate links down there. If you're in the market for some good ear pro, they've got some big savings going on right now, and you can save even more by clicking those links down there instead of going straight to their site. As always, I appreciate all my Range Game members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel. I got a bunch of stuff planned for out here today, so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.